All right. Um, well, this is your. I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. Hi, Dan. Hi. This is your pre-solo phase check, and the first thing I want to see is if you can do steep turns. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Welcome back to the Finer Points. In this video, we're gonna be talking about steep turns. Specifically, I'm gonna show you how Rob did when we went out recently to do a pre-solo phase check. It's important in flight training to make a very clear distinction about when you're going out to build skills and when you're going out to actually demonstrate that you have the skills required. Um, that will help you in many ways, but it will certainly help you prepare for and pass check rides because on check rides, you're demonstrating skills, right? You're not out there to build skills. So in this video, I asked Rob, I pretend that I'm Dan from the Flight Center, and I asked Rob to demonstrate steep turns. I'm gonna show you exactly what he's doing well, and what he's not, how to fly the steep turn, but also give you some pointers about what's required in the demonstration. View the ACS, because I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but the idea is that you do two circles with a constant airspeed, constant bank, and a constant altitude. The demonstration of any maneuver always starts with clearing turns. All right, so the first thing we'll do for our steep turns is clear the area. Okay. And uh, we'll make two 90 degree turns. We're looking for uh, 45 degrees and no great loss of altitude. So we're gonna come to the right. We're gonna give it a little bit of power and a little bit of back pressure. I'm gonna pick a spot on the dashboard. I am not far enough over. Okay, remember, when you do a steep turn, you want to use coordinated rudder and aileron together to roll the airplane into, in this case, 45 degrees of bank. As soon as you take that much lift out of the vertical direction, the nose of the airplane will try to fall. It's your job to freeze the sight picture and increase back pressure to hold altitude. As soon as you do that, increase the total lift to hold altitude, you should feel the equal and opposite reaction, the load force to the floor of the airplane. If you don't feel an increase in Gs, you're probably not pulling hard enough or you're not banked enough. And the job now is to maintain that pitch attitude. Do not let the nose of the airplane fall. Do not let the airplane climb and increase power to maintain airspeed. With all of that extra lift, increasing the angle of attack like that, the speed will decrease. So increase power to hold airspeed and your job then is to freeze what you've got. To see that sight picture, freeze it and every now and again, just bring your eyes inside to verify that the sight picture you're looking at is actually correct. That kind of looks like this. You know, I'm outside, I'm outside, I'm inside. I'm outside, I'm outside, I'm outside, I'm inside. Like that, just 10% of the time, quick movements of the eyes, not the head, just the eyes, to get the data you need to make sure that the sight picture is being held constant. Remember to manage the overbanking tendency with a little bit of opposite aileron every now and again and freeze that sight picture. If things start to go awry, just level your wings, point them into space, start over and try again. And the whole idea here is to kind of aim small, miss small, which is, I believe, a concept that comes from shooting, right? Like if I were to give you a gun and say, I want you to shoot at the, the door on that barn, you might miss the door. But if I tell you to shoot at the keyhole on the handle of the door on that barn, you might miss the keyhole on the handle, but you probably won't miss the door, right? So if you can notice the very, very small deviations in pitch before anybody else notices and correct them, as far as I'm concerned, they didn't happen. So look at this moment here where I, this is what I'm talking about. You can see right here, the nose of the airplane begins to fall. You see the sight picture move up here past the compass. Rob is able to see that, identify it, and correct for it. So find those sight pictures in both directions and remember that when you roll out, you should probably lead it by about one half the bank angle. All right, little left rudder as we roll out. Nice job, let's try one to the left. Okay. And now we're gonna come to the left, same thing, we're gonna come to 45 degrees, a little bit of power, pick a spot on the dashboard.
cross-check what I'm seeing out the window occasionally with the instruments. He's doing great with these. If he remembers power, this maneuver is in the bag. All right, aviators, that's all for this episode of The Finer Points. I want to thank you for watching this video. A huge thanks to the sponsors and to the patrons. Without that support, these videos just wouldn't be possible. And if you want to see this lesson on this gorgeous day here in San Francisco, almost in its entirety, it's available now for patrons. So definitely go check that out. A big thanks to Michael Bazaar for providing all the music you hear in this video. And a huge thanks to you for watching it. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the alert bell so you get notified of uploads. And until next time, be safe and fly your best. If I kill all the golfers, they'll lock me up and throw away the <laughs> The golfers, you Greek. <laughs> the little brown furry road. <laughs> Just a pilot out of nowhere about to become the Reno Air Racing Champion. <laughs>